Okay, after fiddling with this for the past 20 minutes trying to get the damn uh, camera screwed onto the tripod, fiddling with it some more and making the screw come out of the bottom of this damn thing even more. So here's the first four Pink Floyd singles. These are all songs from 1967. Ones that did not end up on the original release of The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Uh, some of these songs were recorded during those sessions or right before. But you have the song Arnold Lane. And this is a 1997 release, by the way. Yes, I am sick. Uh, and you have Candy and a Current Buns, The Emily Play, Scarecrow, Apples and Oranges, Paint Box. It says here this is a mono recording. Track 1 and 2 are produced by Joe Boyd. Tracks 3 and 6 produced by Norman Smith. Um... But yes, very, I mean, someone had mentioned that these were the best uh, sounding versions of these recordings on CD. I do have their, uh, that recent uh, set of older tracks that came out. It's like chronologically each era, you know, 67, 69, 70, 71, 72, stuff like that. I do have that in MP3 format. Uh, those are great collections. Um, but I just don't really care for the sound on a lot of those recordings are not very good and they don't get very good reviews by fans but uh, these all sound great um, but it really would be cool to hear a true stereo version of Arnold Lane someday that would be awesome someone did mock up one on YouTube um, and in the past I said it sounded great but it really doesn't <laughs> excuse me uh, an anniversary edition of the Piper at the Gates of Dawn. I think this is the... Uh, I forget. 2007 edition. Nice version here. With this, I don't have the CD in here. Here's kind of how it looks on the inside. And I have... I think I reviewed this a while, a good while back. Back when I bought it. Uh, shortly after its release. But disc one is in mono. We have all the album tracks here nothing special as far as the track listing goes uh, but with the mono edition some of these songs you do get to hear some things that weren't that aren't in the stereo mix and you do hear um, there's better separation of the of the instruments in the mono mix um, stereo mix eh, I mean a lot of people we know it we know what it sounds like um, so yeah, listening to this was a real treat, and I did listen to this about a year, maybe a year ago, pulled it out and played it. Um, I still need to play it on my headphones that I bought, which I'm very surprised I haven't reviewed yet. I'm going to have to review those. Uh, uh, the Saucer Full of Secrets is the 94 release on CD. A lot of my Floyd discs I have in in a folder, one of those folder cases, just regular album uh, track listing. Great, I mean, pretty good Pink Floyd collection, I would have to say. I wish this thing had the actual years on it. Okay, it does. Uh, so this came out first, yes. Had that right. Um, here is Metal, and this is the alternate. Wait, I think... Yes, this is the alternate cover of this album, and it is a picture of an ear. A lot of people thought it was like a picture of an island. or a, It looks like a dinosaur head, and then you have water ripples here. Very cool, uh, very experimental album, especially the song Echoes. You have San Tropez, Fearless, a, Piro, bleh, a Pillow of Winds, and One of These Days. Those are the standout tracks for me. Um, iconic image here. There's more images of the band uh, in the booklet. I think this is yeah. This is this this image is original to the um, to the album to the original album too. I think the rest of it is all added stuff um, or added new images rather. Very cool though. Uh, very special album to me 
I had never owned this one until I bought it uh, from this set, the 2011 remasters. Uh, Obscured by Clouds, very interesting cover. The best version of this cover is the first UK pressing. It, sound, it looks just simply amazing. This is kind of rough around the edges. Um, but this is this came right before Dark Side of the Moon. You know, Obscured by Clouds when you're in. Uh, songs like that, not a, a bad release. Uh, original release in 72. Uh, 1994 edition of Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> I just drew a blank there. Um, this is almost the last of the 94 uh, issues of these albums that I have. Uh, just original tracks here. A lot of people praised this mastering, so that's why I bought it. The first uh, Dark Side of the Moon CD I owned was... Um, oops, went out of order here, but that's okay. Um, Umagama, another 94 CD release, comes in the Jumbo 2 CD uh, case, those ones that were coming out in the 90s, all the way up to the 2000s, uh, uh, Sony utilized these types of cases with the PlayStation uh, games that required multiple discs. Anyways, uh, original album, cool case. Um, comes with a poster. I think I've shown that before. <clears throat> Animals, and I was surprised to see they removed some pictures in the manual because they do show up in the um, very stark images here. Very dark. Uh, images and that this factory or whatever is still open today I don't know if this actual picture is original album or not I don't, I don't have an original LP of this uh, but I think they added some images too that weren't in the original release but yeah just iconic stuff here pretty sure that's mostly original and maybe the text so the font of the text has been changed. And I do have a uh, Mobile Fidelity release of this from 1990, this particular album. There's really no sense in me showing it. I mean, there's only... Uh, the only difference is this text here is in black, not in red. And I know they did this probably to, differ to differentiate um, from earlier releases of the album on CD. This is virtually identical to all the other releases. And you just have the same tracks here, remastered by James Guthrie. And these releases don't sound all that same for the 1994 CDs. And I know because I used to own them all. Or just about all of them. Um, Pink Floyd, is there anybody out there? Uh, the Wall Live, 1980 from 1981. Double CD set recorded live at Original Oral's Court in London. Includes previously unreleased bonus tracks, deluxe packaging... Uh, this was bought at a CD shop and uh, I think it was in the mall. It's pretty pretty beat up, but you know, there's no other. It's, this one's hard to find these days out in the wild. Um, but yeah, great live show. You get behind the scenes photos here. Very cool. I have shown this before. Um, yeah, just awesome stuff here. I wonder if these are the actual masks. I think, no, these are made up uh, for this release. A lot of people wanted, like, a box set of this release. when They were putting out the immersion box sets. And it would be very cool to see a box set of Pi the Pipers of the Gates of Dawn, Animals, um, maybe even Umagama. Uh, I don't know why the record company didn't put that out. Uh... I guess they felt that it's just they wouldn't sell, but they would. Um, but yeah, this is my Pink Floyd collection, guys. I don't really plan on buying much more. I do want Adam Hart and Mother, uh, the Pink Floyd album with the cows on it. I've wanted that for a long time, so I'll have to track down. Probably just buy the recent remaster of it because it's easy to find and it sounds just just great to me. I mean, I'm sure there's better masterings out there to some people, or even especially to audio files. Um, but I'll settle for almost anything. So that's my collection, guys. Thanks for watching.